hang of these. Shit, I've been practicing for like the last two or three minutes, and I'm like, holy shit, this actually is going to work well for the video. Great. Oh, God. Hello there, Criterion 8 here, number 483. Roman Polanski's Repulsion. 1965, 105 minutes, black and white, normal one, blah, blah, blah. Seriously, Criterion, um, what the fuck is up with you putting child rapists, you know, pedophiles in your goddamn collection? Seriously. I am just, I was more interested looking up the whole Roman Polanski sexual abuse case than this movie, you know? I read the whole damn, you know, all the Wikipedia pages and all, you know, read all these articles of shit, and I could tell you more about that shit, you know. It's just, it's ridiculous. It's like, why? I mean, and people are still making, he's still allowed to make movies. That's the funny thing. He's still making movies, and people are still working with him, you know. Like, me to be damned, you know. I mean, just good God. I mean, in the wake of the me, there was that, there was that whole, uh, there was that, I can't believe there was that, that petition to release P Polanski, signed by a bunch of people back in 2009, now Natalie Portman regrets it in the wake of the Me Too movement, of course, it's like, oh god, and just looking at those people, it's just like, oh. of course Woody Allen's right at the top, you know, because... He's, a, he's another case, you know. But, and how many more plant? And how many more fucking Polanski movies do we have to sit through? We already did Knife in the Water. That sucked. Repulsion. You know, this one sucked too, but for other reasons. Um, I know we got Rosemary's Baby. That one's, that one's one of the supposed to be one of the scariest movies. I think the only scary thing about that movie is that it's in the Criterion Collection. Cul de Sac. Tess, Macbeth, oh god, there's at least nine more of these fuckers. It's like, no, like, Criterion do not care about a director's past or anything, you know, and it's very, very sad, like, they don't care. This has been going on since the, the 70s, you know. He's been out of the country because of this whole, you know, this whole sexual abuse case, him having sex with a 16-year-old, you know. And so, I just, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. I really am. Now, yes, we're going to talk about the movie. Yes, we will talk about the movie a little bit. Because it is a movie. It is a movie. It's directed by a, a terrible person. Absolutely horrible person. But, yeah, I just, I needed to get that. I, I needed to, to say, hey, Criterion, what the fuck? The fuck is your problem? Seriously. You know? Like, I mean, they got all kinds of shitty people in the Criterion Collection. And yet! You know? Because of the movie. Oh, God, the movie. Oh, oh, the movie. Oh, God. You know? Like, look past the fucking movie. What's that fucking... What's his name? Who did Mon Oncle Antoine that I just watched. He's a fucking child rapist and you know and Canada did the right thing took his shit down everywhere he everywhere he went what was that what was that piece of shit's name Claude Jutra what a what a what a horrendous ass wipe you know but you know there you go this is if you're a director I guess I'm sure there's a lot of rapist directors out there you know or pedophile directors but what are you gonna do Anyway, I review this movie in protest, but there you are. Anyway, this is a stupid movie. Um, it's got Catherine Deneuve, who I, I don't like her. I just don't like her. She's annoying. She's another goddamn uh, Jeannie Moreau just looking like an asshole, just doing stupid things, staring at people for no apparent reason. Fucking, what's her name? Delphine Saig, who's in this, gonna be this piece of shit that I have to look at later. 
Oh, God. It's a terrible movie. It's okay. It's about this woman named Carol. She played Devin New, plays this woman named Carol, who's a manicurist. And she lives with her sister and her and her boyfriend or something, and her boyfriend partner or something, husband. And she is like repulsed, literally repulsed by men coming on to her. Cap, uh, Carol is not the sister. And like she, she can't sleep because she hears her sister banging in the other room, and and uh, really makes her sick and all that. And so later on, um, she's left alone. Uh, her sister and her boyfriend go out of town, leaving Carol to herself. And uh, I guess Carol just goes crazy by herself. She sees the walls, you know, starting to crack, and she tears the apartment open she leaves the water running she ends up accidentally cutting a a a, a, um, a customer at work she ends up killing the guy that the guy that's been trying to date her for a while now um, when she he, and then she hides the corpse and then she ends up killing the landlord after he comes by for the rent because her sister's like really late with the rent and uh, yeah, so but well at that but that's actually a little bit more of a more like justified kill because he does come on to her, he does like you know try to like force himself on her. So it's like all right, and I I'll give him that, I'll give you that, you know. But yeah, Carol just sits you know almost comatose, and then when they come back, they see the bodies, and she's taken away, and that's it, you know. Um, yeah, there's no point to this movie. There's, there's, it's very pointless, I guess. It's, it's supposed to be entertaining because of the fact that, like, she's, because of how weird her mind is or whatever. Um, and I guess the last reveal shows that, like, she was always like this as a kid. She's staring and something like that. And so, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I was just like, this was a waste, a complete waste of time, a complete, utter waste, and it's supposedly one of the greatest horror films ever, you know, because of the, how psychological it is, you know, and it's like, there's no explanation, though, there's absolutely no explanation as to why, what's actually wrong with her, you know, like, not even at the end, at the very end, you know, you can tell, tell me something, give me something Give me the answer. Like, if you don't want to reveal it and let us figure it out, that's fine. But at the end, tell me what's going on. Don't leave it just be like, oh, she's just this crazy bitch, you know? Don't do that, you know? Please, just explain yourself, damn you. But you know what? Knife in the water, now that I remember, ends with them just sitting in the car, you know, not knowing where to go. So, yeah, I think Polanski's just good at writing endings that don't make any fucking sense, you know? Anyway, so that's the movie. It's, it's pretty bad. Extremely overrated. Stupid, you know, un, uncalled for jump scares. If you're not a fan of jump scares, I'm not a fan of jump scares. Um, don't watch this movie. It's, it's, it'll scare the shit out of you for no stupid, for no apparent reason. So, um, But it's still a movie. It's still a movie that has some kind of a beginning, some kind of a middle, and some kind of ending. I will give it that. It's directed by an, it's an intolerable human being. With an intolerable actress. But it is sadly, in the end, a movie. Anyway, um... I have nothing more to say about this. I'll just leave it that Polanski is a monster. And uh, if I'm if I'm like completely wrong and you know, like if he's ju if any of his life has been justified, please comment below. Um, I don't feel like I got this fired up about Polanski when I did Knife in the Water. I think I was more about talking about the you know I knew I knew he was a child rapist you know. Um, 
but I don't think I got too far into you know tearing him a new one as I did now, you know. And I don't think uh, I will, you know, I probably will continue this conversation because um, probably by the time I get to Rosemary's Baby, hopefully there will be developments in his case um, and maybe he'll be brought to justice. Um, but for now, we're stuck with this. We're stuck with his movies that he's still making. He still he made a new one last year. Um, he made a new one. He made a one with my wife, my 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 movie wife, Kate Winslet. You know, although I don't know, Kate Winslet's been a little problematic too, sadly, with her comments, some comments she's made. I mean, I love Kate Winslet. She's fucking amazing, but she has said a few things here and there that have made me wonder if I should change my. Uh, yeah. First of all, her working with Polanski, but I don't remember. She tweeted something a while back, and I don't I don't remember what it was. I think it was sort of a something racist or something, and I don't remember. But anyway, anyway, um, Repulsion D plus. It's better than Godard. It's be better than Godard. That's why I give it D plus. But it's still shitty. Um, if a, with a different director and a different lead actress, this might have been a C, a solid C, maybe even a B, maybe even a B minus. But it's Devenu, it's Polanski, D plus. No. Supplements. There's a documentary called The British Horror Film, which talks about thing which I didn't watch because Polanski's interviewing it. Um, there's a an excerpt from a French television documentary featuring Polanski and Divinu, Um and the trailers, and that's it. So, anyway, don't wa don't watch this because don't support child child uh, rapists. Rapists. Repulsion D plus. Fuck it. So I hate to leave you guys for a few days on such a sour note, but um, as I mentioned before, I don't have. Um, I've got some extra shifts at my work right now, so I uh, I won't have time to do any reviews for the next few days. Um, I'm hoping Saturday, although no, I'm not hoping Saturday because I don't want to watch this. I don't want to watch this, but you know, it's coming, I guess. Um, and uh, yeah, so we'll. Uh, so maybe Saturday we'll get to this one. If not, definitely definitely Sunday. Um, it is really fucking long. It's over three hours long. It's another fucking human condition. It's like the first, basically the first, the length of the first movie of Human Condition. So I don't know if I'm gonna have time between my shifts from my library job and my karaoke job. So I I can't guarantee it. But um, there is, however, a chance that I may go ahead and let the Eclipser in. Because we may have time to do to have the Eclipse to do its thing, starting maybe Thursday, if, if it comes in, if the DVD comes in, um, today or tomorrow. I'll pick it up and we'll do the reviews. Um, we may start with the Eclipse doing the Nikatsu Noir set, which means that we'll probably do this um, next, sometime next week, maybe next Tuesday or something. I, I don't know. Um, we've also got this. I'm not looking forward to this either. I think Metropolitan's probably the only good one he did. Although, I don't know, Barcelona seems promising, but you know, I don't like her. I don't like Chloe Savigny. She sucks dicks. So anyway, um, yeah, so that's for me. Thank you for watching. Don't be a child rapist. Don't be a rapist at all. Um, and uh, show emotion in your movies. Don't be a Catherine Devenu. Um and yeah, so that's it for me. Thank you for watching. We will see you sometime, maybe Saturday or Sunday, for Jean Dielman's 23 Quad du Commerce 1080 Bruxelles. Me, I might learn how to say the, the, the numbers in French. Probably not, though, because I don't, I say fuck it. Anyway, until then, oh, play you out. Play you out here, hang on. Until then, until then. Goodbye.